Hey what's up everyone, so welcome back to another video and today I bring you another build for the Windows 10 Mobile. It seems like yesterday or like the day before I showed you a, a previous build and today I show you another build. The new uh, woman in charge of the insider builds, the Donna, I forgot her name. She's releasing builds after builds, she's like hurrying up the builds, which this is like good that we get builds after builds, but this is also like it has some negative because She's releasing builds too fast, so they might not be like the best builds because the previous build was uh, 14385 and now 88, so and also the corrections are not like huge between these builds. But still, it's nice that we get the builds so fast, and uh, and I'm excited about this build, and I'm gonna sh uh, show you and tell you why uh, I'm excited about this build because the difference or the corrections on this build are not big but there is one good correction and on the, this build the the store got updated which i don't really see anything different on the store only when uh, when you clo uh, open it if you let it on the background and when you open it it opens very good actually and then it loads when it loads the here the stuff on the on the start screen it still loads kind of okay but the start the starting the starting process it's much better then the keyboard got again fixed the keyboard it seems like in every build the keyboard get, gets fixed and one problem for the keyboard was when it was in this um, uh, in this private uh, private mode browsing in private I don't even know how to close it uh, but anyway when you are when you were in private in browsing in private fuck uh, the keyboard was like always staying popped up so now you see it, it uh, hides, which uh, before it was fucked up, and also uh, it seems like they close, they um, fix all the time the keyboard. Uh, on almost on every build, there is a like a fix for the keyboard. And another bug that got fixed, maybe not bug or it, it was bug for sure bug. Which is I'm excited because of this correction. And remember when I told you on the previous build that when an app crashes for example tubecast or music or outlook or whatever when once an app crashes all the apps goes to shit and you kind of have to restart your phone to to for the apps to work correctly again but now this got fixed and and actually I I, I, I saw that today because I was browsing on Twitter and my Twitter is on my SD card so normally on SD card there is problems um, so my my Twitter, I was browsing on Twitter and Twitter kind of crashed, and then it was like gray. The icon here it was gray. So I was thinking, holy fuck, I need to restart the phone because normally once once an icon or an app goes to gray, for example, let me show you here. See here gray or like unselected or whatever. These are still like bugs for my SD card. But once an app goes like this in this mode, um, then it it doesn't read correctly the app from the SD card so you kind of have to restart the phone to be able to find the app on the SD card again uh, and and then like it closed it say it says like this gray and then ah fuck I have to restart and waited for like five seconds and the, the app reappeared again like normally like it's now uh, appeared normally and then I opened it opens correctly then also uh, I installed Windows Central uh, I installed, I updated Windows Central because there was an update and Windows Central was uh, like opened, I was searching here browsing, okay, and then crashed. And then I, I was thinking, fuck, I need to restart the phone because, and I, and I did, didn't even restart the phone since it happened that. And then it crashed, uh, then I tried to open it again, let's close again everything. Uh, then I tried to open it again. It was again crashed again when it was in this loading menu. It crashed again, and then the third time it worked and didn't crash anymore s since even now. And so this guy finally got fixed because once an app crashes, th their log is. Um, let me s let me read the log. Um, uh, we fix an issue that could result in an app getting into a state after being suspended, where it could be where it would be enabled. To launch until rebooting the device so fucking great fix for for this major bug because it was a major bug 
because once an app crashes, all the apps kinda got fucked, like I, was, I mentioned on the previous build, and today that got fixed. Uh, I'm not saying that this will not still happen, because how the apps are on SD cards, they are kinda... It's not that great, and for example, Facebook... Um, when I have Facebook on my uh, on my internal memory, Facebook works okay, but now I moved to SD card to just, just to try, but when I move it, I move it now to SD card, it just tries to, lo to load and then it crashes. Sometimes it still loads and opens, but it takes so much time to load, um, so if you have this, the new Facebook, see it crashed there, if you have the new Facebook beta for the Windows 10 ported from iOS, um, make sure to install it on internal memory because on internal memory it works fine but on SD card as you can see it doesn't work properly uh, so I until now I had it on my internal memory but today I moved it to SD card just to, to try it because how they fix this uh, problem I was one I wanted to see if this would work on my SD card but how it support how it's ported from iOS on iOS there's no SD card so the app needs to be installed on the internal memory, which is totally fine. Uh, I'm finally, it's good that the apps like don't, don't crash or once an app crashes, at least don't fuck the other apps. If that app doesn't work, okay, I'm gonna restart or I'm gonna say, okay, I today don't use this app, I'm gonna restart later or, but until now, if one app was crashing, like all the apps were fucked, so you couldn't use the phone correctly, which finally got fixed that and that's why I'm kind of uh, happy about this build uh, there is not anything else uh, fixed on this build uh, we are approaching the anniversary update on August 2 if if they will release it of course but this builds already like it's we are getting to the final release which is nice uh, I still hope uh, I still hope uh, I want for the next redstone build not redstone build the redstone 2 or whatever the next update which uh, will happen after this uh, official one I hope Microsoft brings uh, new features to the Windows 10 um, maybe transparent transparent uh, taskbar here uh, notification because like this dark it's not so great and I want to use the white team but when you choose white here does it just doesn't look correct good when you choose white here or the start menu looks okay when you hear the transparency also look okay with white team but when you scroll down it just doesn't look good in white in full white so that's why i hope they will bring kind of this transparent or whatever just something a bit something different but this will be like in next uh, updates or builds or whatever but yeah thank you guys for watching and i see you in the next one